For a long time, the only really good and easily available video recording software for computers has been called Fraps. It's been around for quite a while and essentially records what is playing on your monitor. It has the added function of capturing customized quality screenshots and video from your game, of course. It also has a frames per second indicator, which is useful for benchmark tests and seeing to what extent you can push your system without getting a massive frame drop in game. The program does have a downside, however. The free version only records in limited quality for short clips. The full version retails at 37 USD. While not an insane price for what it does, it's still more than most people are willing to pay. It's an easy program to torrent, but torrented editions of this program always seem to be buggy, so for these tests I decided to just shell out for the full version. There's a free alternative, however, that records in similar quality as the full version of Fraps. It's called MSI Afterburner. Primarily, MSI Afterburner is meant to manage your GPU and CPU settings. However, it too has a customizable quality screen capture suite. It also has a seemingly more stable selective FPS capture setting. For my computer, which is using an Intel i5-2500K processor at factory clocking, 8GB of DDR3, and an AMD Radeon 6850, the settings of 45 frames per second with AVI compression seem to have the best outcome in terms of quality. The same settings with the full version of Fraps gives a similar result. Here are two clips, one using Fraps and one using MSI Afterburner, both taken from a Steam game called Dear Esther. One thing that I truly must make note of about this is that my video that was captured with Fraps did not play very well in the preview menu for uh, Windows Movie Maker, but the video file that I captured with MSI Afterburner actually played perfectly in the preview window. I believe that's because I was able to capture more frames with MSI Afterburner than I was with Fraps. With Fraps, my peak FPS when I was recording was 36 frames per second, but with MSI Afterburner I was able to set my own frames per second so I was capturing at a solid 45 to 50 that whole time so even if you're just like video editing if you're in your video editor suite like I'm just using Windows Movie Maker like I said and you need to preview the footage it'll actually work a lot better for what you're trying to do now I know that both of those clips look very similar in quality but if you look at this picture here this shows the file size for both of them and it shows the, uh, the speed at which they refresh and all that stuff. Uh, if you look at the clip on the top, that one's with Fraps. It's uh, 766 megabytes, but it's only 26 seconds long, and it's captured at 120 frames per second, and yet it doesn't play right in the, uh, the preview field for Windows Movie Maker. But if you look at the second one on the bottom, which was recorded with MSI, it's only 40 frames per second, and uh, it's 49 seconds long, but it's almost a, uh, it's more than 100 megabytes smaller. So it seems to record, like this is the same format too, they both recorded into AVI, the, the second one's uh, thumbnail just didn't load by the time I took the screenshot because I didn't want to wait for it. But it worked like a lot better, I was surprised. It actually has uh, less frames, but it works better in Windows Movie Maker and it has a better kind of flow and quality to it after it's recorded. In conclusion, I have to say MSI Afterburner is the winner. It records in similar quality, has less of a drain on the CPU and RAM, and it's free. 
For apps, it's still a great program, but if you're operating on a low budget or don't have a very fast system, MSI Afterburner should be your first consideration for a video recording suite.